Welcome to the walk round of the new 2019 Ford Focus. A very economical car, lovely looking designed rims there. Parking sensors and we've got the beautiful new stretched out font to the back there, spelling Focus, very nice. Parking sensors as well, singular exhaust. There's parking sensors all around the vehicle on this one, not just the back. It's also on the sides, as you can see here. As well as all around on the front, as you can see in the grille. You've got a lovely silver metallic finish to this specific model. Privacy glass in the back and on the boots. Lovely stretched rear headlights there, similar to a lot of the BMW looking rears. And also we have on the front headlights, daylight running lights that are becoming more and more popular and a staple in modern cars. Also on the bonnet as you can see we've got this sportier look now give it more dynamic edge but in keeping with the classic focus open grille just at the front there just from the wing mirrors as you can see we have lights as well indicator lights but also flash on and off when you lock and open the car everything is where you'd expect it to be and i'm not talking about the gear so you can see well i'm talking settings i'm talking volumes i'm talking aircon i'm talking the storage space all of the extra uh, utilities on the car everything's just a bit more obvious nice storage down here with adjustable sizes for what drinks you've got press it down and you can adjust it if you've got one big drink and one small drink or two similar size perfect or even make three spaces very clever idea start stop as well as a auto assisted parking brake You've got eco modes, you've got start stop again, parking sensors and parking aid. Obviously all of your heating and aircon settings are very as you'd expect them to be. Now you have a very simple yet effective and quite high quality um, info center here. So we've got all sorts of displays, vehicles, updates, and um, Bluetooth connections for your phone. You have navigation obviously built in, which is now an obvious point. Phone connections, audio, you've got, you've got the choice of DAB radios, or you've got the choice of your phone and Bluetooth. Now you can also add mobile apps to this. So whatever is compatible with Ford, you can obviously download and see, but that'll be all um, obvious on the Ford website sound and everything else for your music is all controlled through here and you can also control all of your mobile apps here as well search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found there we go so tapping home you get a nice kind of equal display of music and navigation you can actually just tap for navigation and you get that as your full screen and alternatively you can do that just for your audio as well as you can see so very simple and having never used that system, I already knew that that's what would happen. That's what you kind of get with Ford. You already know what is going to happen when you click it. Now, moving on to the actual interior itself. Got lovely yeah. white stitching, along with a nice finished, easily wipeable, I could assume, material. It feels a mix between a polyester and a cotton almost. It's quite soft, but also got that sheen to it. We've got a nice carbon fibre looking finish on the side here on the door. So we've got a nice leather finish here with stitching inside, all blacked out. It's quite a nice finish. Lots of uh, safety controls and also your mirror controls and turning on and off people's locking of windows. Lighting as you could assume, that's just your auto system, the A in the middle of the light. Got a nice ambient finish there when your car is off but is still active on the electronic side. 
You've also got all of your media controls and cruise controls all on the stems of the steering wheel, which makes it very easy to reach and you can focus on keeping your eyes on the road. Talking about eyes on the road, the visibility is fairly, you know, it's fairly reasonable. I wouldn't be I wouldn't have a problem driving this. I think maybe the only things would be the arches here are a bit too thick and a bit too wide. Other than that, you've got nice visibility left, forward and right. Nice big wing mirrors so you can see what you're doing. Heated windscreens both front and back, so you don't have to worry about sitting on, the, on your drive wasting fuel just to heat up the windscreen. So let's take a look in the back. In the back, as you could assume, the interior continues with the nice white stitching on the leather with that I would assume polyester and cotton mix. Um, obviously, if you spill anything, you're more than likely gonna get it out. Nowadays, they do think of these things. Um, pouches stitched and knitted back there um, with plastic backing here. This is actually a leather, but it's got a plastic back on it. And the headrests are also leather as well. Speakers in the sides of the doors on the back as well. My Nice felt door bins to avoid scratching everything else. Now into the back. I really do like this. I really do like it. So into the back now. A spacious boot and also a spacious uh, passenger area. So a nice little mix here. We've got obviously focus lights, if you pardon the pun, <laughs> to um, focus your, your, so what you can see in the boot. Spare tyre which is actually a space saver. And this is all nice and compact and very sturdy, as well as storage on either side for breakdown equipment and first aid. All in all, this car, a fantastic buy. You've got the mix between miles per gallon, which you can reach roughly 50. You've also got a fantastic range of features and safety features as well as well as media features lots of things offering in the focus and ford do very well at giving you value for money if you're looking for a car that's going to serve you for the next five to ten years and you know that you're going to be able to afford to fix the fix things on it this is the one for you the ford focus 2019 at anchor cars thank you